A winter weather advisory is now in effect for parts of the mountains. Travel conditions are expected to deteriorate throughout the day. And News 13's Lauren Brigman joins us live from Madison County this morning. So, Lauren, what are you seeing out there? Holly and Jay, we're at a scenic overlook here in Mars Hill near the Tennessee border of Madison County. And I can tell you that it's very windy and all we're seeing right now is rain. But as Ingrid mentioned, this is supposed to change throughout the day and into tomorrow morning. So the winds are gusty here. Traffic though along I-26 here behind me is flowing smoothly right now, but definitely black ice will be an issue for your morning commute as these temperatures right now may be too warm, but later on in the day will fall. So watch for black ice on the roads. Be aware that that may be there even if you can't see it. Low visibility though is the big issue for your morning commute today. I, I noticed on my drive in, pockets of dense fog. So do be aware of that and use caution on your morning commute. I checked with dispatchers in Madison, Mitchell and Yancey counties. They tell me right now it's pretty quiet as pe more people continue to get out on the roads. They may see some trouble areas so you can call those in and report those right now though. Fortunately, no problem areas any in any of our northern mountain counties. But as conditions change, do give yourself some extra travel time no matter where you're heading today and be aware that black ice could be on the roads even if you can't see it low visibility though definitely an issue there are several schools on two hour delays this morning so use caution if you're in those areas and remember to check wlos.com for updates on all of those closings and delays for now i'm reporting in madison county lauren brigman news 13. and drivers are facing rain and gusty winds right now but travel conditions are actually expected to get even worse throughout the day news 13's lauren brigman is live in madison county what are conditions like there here, Jay and Holly, we are at a scenic overlook in Mars Hill. This is in Madison County near the Tennessee border and traffic is flowing smoothly right now, but the winds are very gusty here this morning. Low visibility is another issue drivers are going to have to face on their morning commute. Dense fog in some pockets, you know, as you're, as you're making your way into work. I noticed that this morning, but the rain here that's already on the roadways, that's expected to freeze as temperatures continue to drop throughout the day. So black ice will be an issue for drivers throughout the day and even tomorrow morning. So you're going to want to prepare for that. Give yourself plenty of time to reach your destination throughout today, tonight and tomorrow morning as this winter weather advisory is expected to last into mid morning tomorrow as Ingrid mentioned. Now here in Madison County they are on a two hour delay and this is a precaution if nothing else just so they can continue to monitor conditions as they will rapidly change especially in these higher elevations. Now I checked in with Highway Patrol just about 10 minutes ago and I asked you know are there any accidents near Asheville or any of these northern mountain counties and they tell me so far nothing. It's smooth sailing right now so we'll hope to keep it that way this morning. Temperatures are still a little bit warm for anything to freeze right now but certainly prepare yourself for that because these gusty winds are expected to usher in some much colder air and this rain will then change over to some snow showers like here in Madison County and our higher elevations. So stay with us here at News 13 as we continue to monitor these conditions live in Madison County this morning. Lauren Brigman, News 13. Gusty winds, rain and fog are issues you will likely face on your morning commute and travel conditions are expected to get worse throughout the day. And News 13's Lauren Brigman joins us live from Madison County and Lauren, higher elevations like Madison may see some snow. That's right. These conditions are expected to change quickly today. So right now we are at a scenic overlook in Mars Hill in the Madison County area near the Tennessee border. This is one of the areas that we see conditions change first, typically in, in a situation like now. We are seeing some rain. We're seeing these breezy conditions this morning and fog. I noticed that on my way in. Dense pockets of fog that you will likely see on your morning commute. Now schools here are on a two hour delay today. No buses on icy roads and that's a precaution as these conditions are expected to deteriorate. Black ice is something that is expected into today, tonight and even tomorrow morning. So that's an issue you will likely have to deal with later on today. Temperatures are still a little bit warm for this rain that we've seen overnight and this morning. Still a little bit warm for that to freeze, but definitely expected later on today. And as Ingrid has been mentioning, these conditions will change rapidly. So areas like Madison County, some of the first to see conditions change into snow showers by this afternoon. So DOT 
trucks, I'm sure, will be out salting and sanding. With the moisture that we're seeing right now, the rain, it's really hard to treat the roads, and it's still too warm for any of that to freeze. But keep in mind, black ice will linger. The, the National Weather Service expects it to linger through tomorrow morning, so an issue for tomorrow's commute. Now, I've checked in with dispatchers in Madison, Mitchell, Yancey, Avery counties. No issues overnight, as I've been saying. Temperature still a little bit warm, but we will continue to check in with dispatchers there. Highway Patrol also has no reports of accidents as of right now in these higher elevations. Traffic behind me on future I-26 flowing smoothly right now. But again, keep, keep an eye out for black ice and definitely low visibility for your morning commute this morning as dense fog is present in regions like Madison County. Reporting live in Madison County, Lauren Brigman, News 13. News 13's Lauren Brigman joins us live from Madison County. Lauren, what are you seeing there right now? Here we're seeing rain off and on this morning. Foggy conditions are going to be what you're having to deal with on your morning commute, and it's still very breezy here in these higher elevations. We're at a scenic overlook in Mars Hill. This is near the Tennessee border, so these counties like Madison are going to be the first. If we do see some snow later today, they will likely see it first. Now, roads here like I-26 are wet, but this means that as temperatures, they're expected to drop throughout the day. So this means that black ice will likely be an issue later on today and even for your morning commute tomorrow. I've checked in with dispatchers in Madison, Mitchell, Yancey, Avery counties, as well as Highway Patrol. So far, no issues on the roads. They tell me temperatures about 40, 42 degrees in Mitchell County, so it's still a little bit warm for anything to freeze. But this is a rapidly changing situation and temperatures are expected to drop quickly today, ushering in colder air, even snow showers for these higher elevations. Here in Madison County, schools are on a two-hour delay. No buses on icy roads, likely a precaution, but they're just waiting it out to see when these conditions will change. Reporting live in Madison County this morning, Lauren Brigman, News 13.